For years, they have dominated at countless Comic-Cons. Now they are committed to bringing the experience back in a whole new way. There's only one place to get your comics and collectibles and chat live with the two greatest showmen in modern comics. So kick back, bust out your keyboard, and get ready to... Call it as you see it! You're watching Kicking It with Honoree and Kevin, the live shopping show. What is up, everybody? You're watching <laughs> Kicking It with Honor and Kevin, the live shopping show. It's so good to be back with you guys. Uh, we had a really, really great weekend. Um, I did some comic book shopping this weekend. Um, I was supposed to do a convention on um, Saturday, but it got postponed because of the weather. So um, QuadCon in Rockford, Illinois will now be happening on May 8th as opposed to this weekend, April 21st. No, no. 24th. Yeah, so now it's May. But anyway, uh, this week we got a lot of exciting stuff going on. Uh, this Saturday, I will be setting up at my local comic shop, North Shore Comics, and um, I'm going to be set up there as a vendor. I'm going to be selling East and Chin. I'm going to be selling some dollar comics, all that kind of great stuff. So if you are in the area and you're looking for some something to do with the family or whatever, uh, come on by North Shore Comics. We'll have uh, free comics and all kinds of other stuff for you guys, too. And I'm thinking I'm going to bring the wheel there, and I might even do a live stream from there. I'm going to talk to, to Pete Hurst over there and see what he says. Um, aside from that, we got uh, some new stuff to show you guys, and um, I need just a second to go grab my pen and my pad so that I can mark stuff down. We got Cora in the house. She got her package. Outstanding. I'm so glad to hear it. Give me one second. I'll be right back, guys. But uh, I just blame, I just blame, uh, who, I don't have anybody to blame. All right, let's show you guys some really cool comics. And we got some really great deals going on as well. Um, spend 20 bucks with us, you get to spin the wheel. You would have spin the wheel right now, you would have gotten a $5 gift card, but you can apply at any point. And uh, if we owe you a gift card, now's the time to use it. So uh, 20 bucks gets you a spin on the wheel. And we got all kinds of great prizes. We also got some really cool uh, books up here, which I'll tell you guys about in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to start off showing you guys some of the new stuff I got in because I got some really awesome comics here. And I'm going to kick off with Giant Size Door Finale. We got Bill the Warrior, William the Warrior. And this is a really good book. So William is a friend of Thor's, and he basically goes to Asgard. He's, a, he's an Earth friend of his, and he goes to Asgard to, to defend it against uh, Loki and his armies. And it's a really wonderful, very touching um, uh, one-shot book. It's part of a larger storyline, but if you're looking to fill out your gap here, uh, we got this going for just $3 today, $3 this afternoon. So call it as you see it. Three bucks. Here's a new trade we picked up. We got Mr. Terrific Volume 1, uh, Mind Games. This is done by Mr. Eric Wallace and Gianluca Gugliotta and Wayne Bowker. Mr. Terrific is a really cool hero, and he's actually playing a really big role right now in um, Strange Adventures. So uh, this is a really solid book. Now, normally this book goes for uh, $17, 17 bucks. We're going to do it today for just, uh, I'm going to do it for $8, eight bucks on this bad boy. So Mr. Terrific is going to go for $8. This is a graphic novel. It's a volume one, and it's going to go for eight bucks today. Call it as you see it. We got you covered. This is all brand new stuff that we just brought in. So come and kick it with us. I got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 27. This is going to go for $5 today. Five bucks on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 27. Boom. 
And let's see what else we got here. I have Sleepwalker number 25. Awesome. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. Lawrence, man, that sucks. Well, check it out. You're watching the Kicking It show. So think of it like this. If you call it right now, I can get you every single book that you lost in that fire, which is very unfortunate. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm going to sign them all for you right here, right now, live. So you can take that wherever you want to go with it. You can go to CBCS and get those books graded, or you can just have the memory of me sending all your stuff for you. I'll even throw in the posters for free for you, the ones that you lost in the fire. So I got you covered on the posters. That's free of charge because of your situation. But if you want to do the first four issues of Easton Shin, we got them going for just 10 bucks. I'll show them off again so that you know them. And we actually got more yeast and chin out too. So this is the first four. We're going to do these at $10. So that's all of Warrior and Defender, the first arc, 10 bucks. Okay. Then we got Fallen Avenger, which is the second full arc of yeast and chin. So this is issue five, six, seven, and eight. This is also going to go for $10. Finally, we got issue nine. Eastern Shin is going to be 12 issues total. We got issue nine, which is brand new. I haven't really taken this out on the on the con circuit yet. This is going to go for three dollars. So three dollars on this, and you can get all nine issues of Eastern Shin for just twenty three dollars. And if you call it right now, I will sign it for you live on this broadcast right now. If you lost other comics, well, we we showcase and we sell comics all the time. So you just let us know what you're looking for, and we'll be more than happy to help you find it. And Lawrence, thank you so much for tuning into the stream. Let me know what you want to do there. That's awesome, dude. We got Mr. McPhee in the house, my man. We had Mr. McPhee on uh, Friday as a guest, last Friday as a guest on Virtual Signings with Henri, and he was fantastic. We sold some of his book, and now we have a goal to sell out all the rest because we believe in what Mr. McPhee is doing. We are Firm believers in his comics uh, and his journey as a his his journey as a creator. So um, I will showcase some of those books tonight on the evening show. And Joe is always going to be here to tell us about the book. And every time you buy a set of Joe's books, this is what's going to happen. That's right. We got a DJ siren. I can do this now. Bam! I love the sound of that. That's never going to get old. All right. Next up, we got Saga. Boom. All right. I got Saga number nine, number 10, number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This is a critically acclaimed series. We're going to probably see a TV show, and it's going to be like the greatest thing uh, since sliced bread, because this is kind of like Star Wars meets Game of Thrones meets all kinds of stuff, and it's very it, it's very good. Saga is phenomenal stuff. It's Brian K. Vaughn who is uh, responsible for Why the Last Man and um, Pride of Baghdad. I don't know if you guys ever read that, um, but that that was also really good. And he's done a whole bunch of other stuff. We stand guard, but Saga is kind of like what really. Um, you know, puts them up there. So we're going to do all these books for $3 a pop. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven books. I'm just going to drop it down 20 bucks. You get a spin on the wheel, 20 bucks. You get all these saga books. Call it as you see it. We got you covered. Remix. Bang, bang. We got Mr. Lou in the house. Lou, how you doing, my brother? All right. Now check this out. So I was, I, was, I was shopping for some comics yesterday, and I managed to come across some really old Wonder Woman books. I have the new Wonder Woman, number 182, going for just $10 today. $10. And I have the new Wonder Woman, number 180. This is also going to – or actually, this is going to go for $15 today. $15 on this, 10 on that. We're looking at 25 for the set. This is some classic DC comics right here, guys. 10 on this, 
15 on that. We got issues 180 and 182 of the new Wonder Woman. The incredible I Ching is in this too. So this is pretty cool. Just something I dug up, found it, needed more Wonder Woman, so I went shopping. I got you all got it because I because uh, you demanded it. You demanded it, so I got it. All right. Next up, I got two cool, really two really cool magazines. I have uh, Vampiris Carmilla, number two and three. These are some reprints of uh, Frank Frazetta's incredible artwork. Frank is an absolutely amazing artist, and uh, my my artist on uh, Yusun Shin actually um, met Frank Frazetta in, in real life. It was really cool. And this has a lot of really cool black and white artwork. Um, this is really cool. I really dig this stuff. And I'm going to do each of these, both issues two and three, for uh, – I'll do them both for 20. So that's going to be 10 a pop. And these are in really good shape. So we're going to do 10 on each of these. If you're interested, let me know. I got you covered. Let's check the comments here. My man, Mr. Lee, J Christopher Lee Jackson, my man, my man. Good to see you. Good to see you. We got a new prize on the wheel, Lou. You're not going to want to miss this one. This one is fantastic. <laughs> and it's probably going to gross a lot of you guys out, so... Sorry about that. All right, next up, I got Captain America number 618 and number 619. This is really cool. This uh, is Brubaker and Butch, Butch Juice, Butch Geis. Call them what you want them. Call them what you want to call them. Um, we're going to do these for three bucks a pop. So we're looking at $6 total on both of those Captain America books. <laughs> And I'm assuming everybody has uh, seen Falcon and Winter Soldier yet. That was just what an what an episode. What an episode. That just totally. I I was so touched by everything that was uh, done by that. <laughs> I posted something really funny on Friday. I was like, uh, that was powerful. And one of my friends said, um, you know. So I see you saw Mortal Kombat, <laughs> which I didn't yet, but I really want to see it. Um, I'm not worried about Mortal Kombat getting spoiled for me. A bunch of people die and get fatalities. There you go. All right, next up I got Scarlet Spider number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16, and number 17. So I'm going to do all five of these books today uh, for $15. So that's three dollars a pop for this set. You can break up my set. That's fine too. It's three dollars a pop per book. We got Scarlet Spider. Boom. All right, let's check the comments. Yeah, I can't kick. I can't kick the dummy anymore because uh, then um, then uh, Stan Lee will fall off here, and he'll just be like. Jesus! Stop kicking that thing out of me! Jesus! So there we go. I can't kick, I can't kick Bob anymore. Stan, Stan doesn't allow me to do it. He's in charge now. That's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. All right, last week we saw a preview or a trailer for a movie that is coming out next year that's going to be really awesome. Actually, it's this year, right? Um, we got Master Kung Fu, Shang Chi. We got issues 64 and 65 right here. I'm going to do both of these for just $8 a pop. So we're looking at uh, – I'll do them both for 15 Both of these for 15 Master Kung Fu number 64 and 65. Call it as you see it. Pretty soon those are going to start flying off the shelves. Let me tell you guys. All right, let's see. I got some Iron Man here. I have Invincible Iron Man number 101, number 102, and number 103. And these are all in really good shape, guys. I would say these are in the very fine category. Um, I'm going to do each of these for just $3 a pop. We're looking at $9 total for these three Iron Man comics. Call it as you see it. Iron Man 101 through 103. 
Excelsior. That's right. That's what it's all about. All right. Now, earlier, Lawrence was asking me about Isun Shin. Well, here's another comic series that I thought was really inspiring and helped um, guide me along the path with Isun Shin, and it is Lone Wolf and Cub. This is some phenomenal stuff, guys. Um, here's some of the artwork in here. Now, something to note about these books here in particular is that these were put out by First Comics, and they were uh, translated... So this is the first translation of the Lone Wolf and Cub series um, into English. So it's really cool stuff. And I'm going to do both of these books together as a set, issues 37 and 33 and 37. I'm going to do them both as a set for $10 today. So 10 bucks to get both books. And something to keep in mind about Lone Wolf and Cub is that um, you don't need to like have them all in sequential order. Uh, you can read them out of order. Each story is kind of like its own contained thing. So that's what's kind of cool about it. You get two uh, Lone Wolf and Cub individual stories. They don't need to be connected. It's all just the same concept. You know, warrior on the road with his uh, with his kid and killing other samurai. It's pretty awesome. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, I have... Wonder Woman, number 39, number 40, and number 41. I'm going to do this whole set for $15 today. So 15 bucks for this whole set. We're looking at $5 per book. These are in really good shape. It's Wonder Woman. Some classic Perez Wonder Woman. And it's going for five bucks a pop. We're looking at fifteen dollars total. Call it as you see it. All right. Next up, I got Vampirella number three from Harris Publishing. This is going to go for just twelve dollars. So twelve dollars on Vampirella. Bam! It's in really good shape. Twelve bucks on this bad boy. Got a heck of a rack we're building out here. All right. Next up, I got a little venom, a little venom bundle set here for you guys. I have Venom Center Takes All number one. This is gonna go for five dollars. I have Venom Carnage Unleashed Part 204. That's gonna go for five dollars. I got Venom Finale, that's gonna number two, that's gonna go for five dollars. Number three is going to go for $5. I have Sign of the Boss. That's also going to go for $5. I have issues one and two of that. That'll be 10 bucks together. And I have the Venom Super Special. This is a really big book. Um, this is going to go for $5 as well. I have Venom Center Takes All number five, $5. Number four is going to go for $5. And so is number two. So these aren't in any particular order. But the point is, is that these are all $5 books right here, right? So let's look at how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine books here. That would normally be forty-five dollars. Forty-five bucks for all these. But if you decide you want to pick up all these venoms right now, I'll do them all for forty if you buy this whole set from me. Forty bucks. Take this off my hands. It's all yours. All these venom books. We got a Venom sequel coming out, so you know these books are going to go up in value pretty soon. All right, next up I got uh, Electra Assassin, number one, number four, and number five. I'm going to do each of these for two dollars and fifty cents a pop. We're looking at seven dollars and fifty cents for each of these, uh, or for the whole set for Electra Assassin. Assassin, assassin. All right. And let's see. I have Batman 500. This is a really, I love this book. Joe Quesada. This is awesome stuff. This is going to go for five bucks. What the duck? Where's Howard? I don't have any Howard right now. 
you say it did before, but uh, yeah. Good to see you, Joe. So Batman 500, first Gene Paul Valley as Batman. Very cool uh, Joe Quesada cover. I wonder who did the interiors on this. Let's take a look real quick. So you see, I love the fold-out cover here, and you got Gene Paul Valley as Batman. This is Joe Quesada, who eventually becomes the um, uh, publish, pretty much the publisher of uh, Marvel Comics. So this story is written by Doug Mensch and Jim Aparo and Terry Austin and Mike Manley. So these guys were all working on it together. Um, as far as the artists, we got, um, oh, Terry Austin and Mike Manley are the artists. So, and Doug Mensch and Jim Aparo are, are writing, but this is really, really good stuff. I, I love what they did with this. And it comes with the postcard and everything. The book's in really, really great shape. It's going for five bucks. Batman 500. Call it as you see it. We got you covered. Let me know. Hi, how was your weekend, guys? How's everybody doing? Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let me know what kind of comics you're looking for, too. Let me see what I can dig up for you. We got a lot of new stuff over the weekend. We also got some video games in stock. And tonight, Kevin and I are going to come on and do a show in the evening. Um, we will be uh, showcasing some new video games we got in stock. Um, I will also be um, doing uh, some movies, too. So we're going to make it like a movie night. We're going to be doing uh, 5 to $10 Blu-ray disc sets. So this is going to be kind of cool. You can you know get some Blu-rays for yourself at, at a really cheap uh for real cheap and um all of it is pretty much new and i know because it's coming from my personal collection so five bucks on batman 500 call it as you see it we got you covered all right next up i got tales to astonish starring namor number 13 and 14. i'm going to do the pair for 10 bucks so five bucks a pop you get them both for ten dollars. Tales to Astonish featuring the Submariner. And I believe he's going to make an appearance in the second Blank Panther movie. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's where he's going. Uh, oh, really? I didn't know that. That's cool, man. That's awesome, Christopher. That's really cool. That's awesome. He's marketing his own book. That's really tight. That's what you did. To, that's what you did over the weekend, huh? That's awesome. All right, I got something really fun for you guys. I have Raiders of the Lost Ark. I have issues one, number two, and number three. I got a complete set here. I'm going to do the whole thing for twenty five dollars. So 25 bucks, you get all three issues of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Call it as you see it, you get the whole thing. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Boom shakalaka. Next up, I got another Spider Web of Spider-Man book that um, really, uh, this was a, a cover I saw quite frequently when I was a kid. So this is Web of Spider-Man number 104. And um, basically, this is from the pages of Maximum Carnage, Nightwatch. This is pretty cool. So we're going to do this today for just $2.50. Call it as you see it. I got you covered. Mr. Ragusa, I'm doing good. I'm doing well, sir. Thank you for joining us th this afternoon. All right. Next up, I got a lot of really cool stuff in Um but first, let me show you Valiant's Bloodshot, number one. This is when Valiant came back into the comic book industry, and this is the first book they put out, Bloodshot, number one. We got Bloodshot, number two, and we got Bloodshot, number three. Now, a Bloodshot sequel is in the works, and these books are hot. So what we're doing is uh, all three books for 10 bucks right now. You can get all three for 10 all bloodshot for 10 bucks. Yeah, so. 
else we got here? Hang on, guys. Ooh, I got a cool one. I got Star Ears. The quest begins. I have issues the whole run. One, two, three, and four. And I'm doing the whole set, all four, for just uh, 15 bucks. Actually, no, sorry. I'll do this for 10 $10 if you want all of Star Ears. One through four, the complete set. I have not read this, but I have a complete set now. So I'm doing all four for 10 Thanks, man. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you, guys. Your confidence in me is so uplifting. I appreciate it. Beyond, it's, it's beyond words. Thank you. Uh, next up, I got Hard Boiled number two of three. And this is going to go for just six bucks today. It's going to go for six dollars. This is Frank Miller and um, Jeff Darrow. It's a very violent book. It's fantastic. If you can get your hands on these single issues, I highly recommend it. They're really, really big, and they're like the magazine size. And it's Jeff Darrow's work is such an inspiration to me. We're going to do this for just five bucks today. So five bucks on this. Did I say five or six? I think I said six, but I'll do it for five. If you want it at five, I got you covered. All right, next up I have Iron Man 2020 by Walt Simonson and Bob Wyzek, who worked on X-Men actually. He did a lot of classic X-Men books. So uh, Iron Man 2020 is um, basically about Arno Stark, who is Tony Stark's nephew. And um, Curious, oddly enough, I have a feeling they might cast him soon and might use him as a character. I mean, now that we don't have Tony Stark, and it is 2020, so you know, I'd be curious. I'd be curious to see if they do something with this character because it would make sense. But he's not as well received as Tony was, um, even though he pretty much is in line with Tony. He's probably a little bit more um, entitled than Tony Stark is. Like Tony Stark is more of a narcissist. He's more entitled because he inherits the legacy of Tony Stark. But he's 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 got a heart of gold like Iron Man is supposed to have. And um, he's on this mission to save this uh, general's daughter who gets, uh, she run, she get, she starts running with uh, these, these thugs who are like super powered and stuff. And it's all like super dangerous and everything. So um, she's in danger now. And Iron Man 2020 is just coming to save her and he's got, cogs on his shoulders and other weird powers but either way we're going to do this for just 10 bucks it's a good book i like reading it um and you got some star talent on it let's check the comments here we got ted davies in the house my man i'm doing a ted talks tomorrow guys so i am really looking forward to this tomorrow morning at um six uh no 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 seven a.m uh, Pacific time, 8 a.m. Mountain time, 9 a.m. Chicago time, and 10 Central time, and 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be talking with the man, Ted Davies. I'm going on TED Talks, and we're going to be talking about um, pivoting in the comic book industry and how we've, you know, managed to pivot in this crisis called COVID. So, um, you know, that's kind of what brought me here in front of you guys right now. So, yeah, come and tune in tomorrow. It's going to be a great time. All right, I have Sleepwalker number 25. This is going to go for $5. Sleepwalker 25. It looks like we got a, a, a silver foil cover. 25th issue. Character that we haven't seen in a, in a movie yet. So there we go. Sleepwalker and Darkhawk. Those were the two characters in the 90s that I thought were really, really dope that Marvel busted out. That's awesome. All right, let's keep moving. Before I undress the rack, I want to let you guys know about the keys we have up on display for today. First up, I got a slab 7.5 X-Men number 266. This is the first appearance of Gambit. Um, and um, it is uh, in very fine condition. Um, and I, we're very proud of this book. 
Um, and this is going to go for $250 today, which is pretty much the going value of the book. But we're not afraid to sell this right away. We're going to wait and see what happens when the X-Men movies comes out because I have a feeling that's going to really increase the value of the book. I feel the same way about Warlock. Now, this isn't the first appearance of the character. This is Jim Starlin's first um, uh, issue of the series. Um, and this is also when Strange Tales changes its indicia and adds Warlock over here. And we also got the first appearance of Magus, who is Warlock's main villain. This is graded at an 8.0. It's going to go for $180 today. So call it as you see it. Next up, I got a 5.5 five Wolverine number one. This is going to go for $150 today. 5.5 five Wolverine number one. And I have a 9-2 signature series from PGX, Ultimate Spider-Man number one by Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley. Uh, I'm going to do this for 80 bucks today. So $80 you get this book. 80 bucks. Call it as you see it. All right. Now, inside the display, I kind of mixed it up. So I wanted to give you guys a chance to... Um, be able to say, hey, I got a key comic from uh, Hunter Killer Collectibles. And when you do that, you get to spin that wheel. And if you would have spun the wheel just spun the wheel just now, you would have gotten a free copy of Beast and Shin Warrior and Defender Volume 1, which means you would have gotten this book right here, and I would have signed it for you. That's what's up. That's how it works here on the Kicking It Show. And another fun thing about um, the uh, wheel is – Kevin has the Wheel of Fate. I have the Wheel of Fishnicket. It's Fishnicket, Fishnicket. $20 you get to spin it, and you might get something from a foreign country. But in this case, you would have gotten a free DC comic. Just saying. Just saying. So call it as you see it. We got you covered on a whole bunch of different stuff. All right. Let's, uh, let's um, talk about what we got in the rack here, and then I'm going to undress this rack and build another one for you guys. I got Superman Batman number 22. This is a very early Batman Beyond appearance, so this is going to go for $25 today. I have Micronauts number one. First issue of Micronauts, that's going to go for $15 today. I have a special edition Spider-Man and Hulk. This is the summer uh, special summer issue that's going to go for $15 as well. We have um, Hulk number 325. That's going to go for $12. We have Sensational Spider-Man. Number 193, this is the Marvel Tales. Now, what you'll notice about these three covers here is the frames. This is the Marvel frames here. So this is going to go for $15. Next up, we have Web of Spider-Man number 20, also $15. I have the third um, uh, printing variant of Amazing Spider-Man number 698. This is a really popular uh, cover. Um, it's going to go for just 5 bucks today. And finally, I have Captain America celebrating 75 years of Captain America. I'm just going to pull this out because I actually want you guys to see this one, given what we saw on Falcon and Winter Soldier over the weekend, which was amazing. And I love how the, I loved how it ended. It was absolutely fantastic. We're now getting a new Captain America movie, and we have a new Captain America. And here he is punching out Steve Rogers in the face because he deserves it. Um, and we got the Winter Soldier here. This is really cool. I'm going to do this today for 20 bucks. 20 bucks on this. Let's give you guys a chance to see it. And guys, you can haggle with me too. I, you know, I want to make, I want to, I want you guys to walk out of here uh, knowing you got a deal. And having you guys here in the first place means so much to me. All right, now I'm going to undress this rack here. I have Giant Size Thor Finale, number one. I'm going to do this for, I don't know why I hit Steve, but uh, Steve obviously had it coming. There's nothing better in this world than being Captain America and punching an old man in the face. It's American. All right. We got Giant Size Thor Finale, number one. This is going to go for just uh, five bucks today. Five bucks. I have Invincible Iron Man number 101, 102, and 103. I was doing these at for the whole set for uh, $10. I'm going to do the whole set now for $7.50. Call it as you see it. 
Wonder Woman number 39, number 40, and number 41. I'm going to do the three set here for $15. These are in really great shape. This is from the Prez run. I have Sleepwalker 25. That's going to go for 5 bucks. I have Iron Man 2020. That's going to go for $10. $10. I have Bloodshot, number one, number two, and number three. The first three issues, I'm going to do these for $10, bucks, $10 right now. Call it as you see. Let's check the comments here. Kevin, what's up, man? Any modern indies there, my friend? Yes, I do have modern indies. As a matter of fact, check it out. I got some really cool stuff yesterday while I was out shopping. And you are on YouTube, so if you buy something from us right now, this will be like the first time we've ever uh, sold anybody comics through uh, YouTube, which should be a huge thing for me to brag about later on. I'd be able to get my bragging dork on. Um, this is cool. I don't know if you're a fan of Vault Comics, but I saw this cover yesterday, and I was just like, man, I need this. Uh, Queen of Bad Dreams. I got number one. And I have number two. I will do the pair for cover price. We're looking at $8 for this set here. $8 for this set. I have no idea what this is about, but Vault Comics, they put out some really great series. And I'll just keep building this out while I kind of un unbuild <laughs> this rack. So I got uh, Hard Boiled, number two of three. This is going to go for $6 today. So this is issue two of the three issue series from Frank Miller and Jeff Darrow. Really great stuff. Really, really great stuff. Call it as you see it. I have Web of Spider-Man number 104. That's going to go for $2.50. $2.50 on that bad boy. And uh, Kevin, I know you're watching right now. Um, I'm just going to let you know that uh, I'm going to be busting out some movies and some more video games tonight. So um, I think we're going to have a good time. And Joseph Hardy told me that apparently uh, they are going to stop – producing and manufacturing Blu-rays and regular DVDs pretty soon. So this is pretty wild. Uh, sign of the times, right, folks? All right, we got Batman 500 going for just 500 cents. Call it as you see it. We got you covered. Let's check out what my man said. He loves Vault. Yes! Boom shakalaka. We got our first uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube sale. I appreciate it so much. And... Um, this is C. Ludisher. Is it C. List Eman? Let me know your name and uh, do me a favor. Message me on uh, Facebook or um, if you read down here where it says let's stay connected and where you can reach us, um, email us here at hkcollectibles at gmail.com. Send me your name and what you ordered so that um, I can put it aside, and this is, this is really cool. E-Man. All right, cool. All right, E-Man, I, I got you down for these two books. Send me your email. Just shoot me an email, and uh, I, will, I will take care of invoicing on Thursdays, and I will get this out to you. Thank you so much for watching the show. We got a lot more uh, independent stuff for you, so just hang tight, and we got you covered. You spent another 12 bucks with me right now. And you get to spin the wheel. And if you would have spanned the wheel, you would have gotten a free date with a Russian woman. And I'll show you what that would have looked like. Um, and just because just you're new to the show, uh, I'm going to introduce you to Katya. Congratulations. You just won a date with a free Russian woman. Feast your eyes on Katya. She'll put the cat in you. Better be careful with this one, folks. Because she's not afraid to use her nails. <laughs> Katya is a keeper, folks. She enjoys Russian street fights, going for long walks in derelict areas, and yoga. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! All right, we're back. All right, let's address this rack, and I will keep it going. I will keep it fresh for you guys. All right. Um, I got Raiders of the Lost Ark, number one, number two, and number three. This is a 
Uh, three issue series from Marvel where they read this is the official adaptation of the movie. And if you haven't heard of Raiders in the Lost Ark, get out of the cave you've been hiding in your whole life and watch this movie. Or better yet, buy these comics! We got them going for 25 bucks the whole set. It's collectible. You can slobber all over it because it's protected in a board and bag and it'll be shipped to your front door wrapped in bubble wrap and you're going to be like, whoa, Audrey, thanks for the great service. And I'm going to be like, that's what's up. All right. Um, and speaking of this, E-Man, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm actually a comics creator myself. I don't know if you know about my series, Eastern Shin, but if you buy any comics that I created personally on the show, I'm going to sign them for you right here, right now on the Kicking It show. All right. Let's get back to undressing the rest of this rack here. I have Star Ears, number one, number two, number three, and number four. I'm going to do the whole set here for just 10 bucks right now. 10 bucks, you get the whole set. Call it as you see it. I have Electra Assassin, number one, number four, and number five. We're going to do the whole set. For just seven dollars and fifty cents, knock off the fifty, make it seven bucks. All right, I got Submariner Tales to Astonish number thirteen and fourteen. This is going to go for just uh, ten bucks today for the set. Each book is going to go for five. Get them both for fifteen. I'm loaded. Submariner Silver Surfer is uh, really a good book to jump on right now. <laughs> so, E-Man saying she looks like she can cook a mean meal during the cold bay area winter months here in effing yoga, breaking up with my girlfriend now. Well, that's good. That's excellent. There's never been a better reason to break up with your girlfriend than when you watch Kicking It with Andre and Kevin, the live shopping show. Just make sure that you apologize after the show is over and get right back with her and just go bang, 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 bang. And there you go. All right, let's keep going here. Let's keep addressing that rack. Speaking of addressing, we got Vampirella number 12 over $12. Call it as you see it. We got you covered. I got Lone Wolf and Cub right here from First Comics. This is the first uh, translation of the series here. We got um, chapters 33 and 37. Uh, Lone Wolf and Cub stands on its own. You don't need to read them in sequential order or anything like that. So we're going to do uh, 10 bucks on both of these books. So ten dollars for the set. Get issues thirty-three and thirty-seven. Um, ah, you're part of C List Villains Podcast. Awesome. Let me tell you about Yusin Shin then. All right, so Yusin Shin is my comic series, and it is about a Korean admiral, this dude right here, who fought the Japanese in the fifteen hundreds. He was outnumbered ten to one, and he beat them twenty-three times in a row without ever losing a single battle. And this all actually happened. It's all based on a true story. And Yusin Shin's a trilogy of books. So what we have here is the first four issues, and we're doing the whole set here for just 10 bucks. You're going to save a dollar off the cover price of each book, and I'm going to sign them all for you right here, right now on the Kicking It Show. Uh, Yusin Shin's a trilogy, right? So we actually got uh, issues five, six, seven, and eight. This second set here is going to go for $10, so you can get all eight comics for 20 bucks. And we also got issue nine right here. This is the latest issue in our series. Now, Eastern Shin, we keep the art consistent from issue to issue, cover to cover. You tack this on, it's going to be an extra three bucks. We're looking at nine comics, all signed for $23. This is what they look like right here. You're getting them all. Everything for $23. And I, also, I should mention, every fourth issue is a double-sized book. There are no ads in any of these comics either. This is five, six, seven, and eight. There's a huge battle that occurs in this. This is probably my like the the, the comic I am most proud of that I've ever I've ever worked on. And uh, Hunter and Destroyer number one. This is the only book that <laughs> surpasses that. <laughs> and that's what we're always trying to do. That's what independent comics is all about. You always want to see. Um, Creators getting better at what they're doing as each issue progresses. And I have more independent comics to share with you. In fact, give me just a second here. If you decide you want to pick up Eastern Shin at any capacity, you can start with the first issue for just three bucks. You can get the first four for 10, all eight at 20, or all nine for 23. I got one other series I want to show you right here. And this one is really, really awesome. So. 
So, E-Man, you, you, you found me at a good time because um, I am on a mission right now. And my mission is to help other um, independent creators like myself get their comics out there because we all depend on each other in order to survive. Um, and it's not always easy for us to get our comics showcased um, through big, uh, you know, dealers because they're used to selling Marvel and DC stuff. So we try to make a, more of an effort to showcase some of the independent stuff to give these creators a fighting chance and um, because their stuff is uh, just as good and there's usually much deeper meaning in an independent comic um, in terms of what it took to make the book in the first place and there is in a book where you got, uh, you know, a, a, a wheel turning, you know, constantly. So this series right here that I'm about to tell you about, I want to say is put out by uh, someone who I would say is a kindred spirit for sure. Like um, we both live in Chicago. We've both been doing this for about the same amount of time and we've both been hustling and we both have never given up with what we're trying to do despite all of the odds that have been set against us. Now, um, Eman, I do a show called Virtual Signings with Honoree every Friday where I bring on a new creator of an independent comic series and we do a live signing. So the guy that we had um, do these books, he's already signed them. And um, here's, his, here's his deal. So the book is, is called Amazonia and it is a beautiful book for so many reasons. Um, mainly because of what it took to get it made in the first place. But let me just tell you what the story is. The story is about this very large woman, and she is a SWAT uh, cop, and she used to be a, um, a superhero. And she stopped being a superhero and decided to become a SWAT cop. And uh, she is basically um, got a... a a lot of baggage that's been following her and she's moved back home with her parents and now there's a lot of a lot of drama and a lot of things that are about to unravel and the story in this book is very very well thought out i really enjoyed it and it's very uh, a book that i highly recommend you just just to just to give you a sense of what actually went into this book I, I'm, I'm just going to have to tell you because there's no other way. That, that, that's what I think sells it. So the covers that were done here were actually done by an artist named Terry Huddleston who's really big in the con circuit. And he did the uh, covers for issues two through four. And this one was done by Joe McPhee, the artist and creator of the series. And same with issue six. Really love this. Now, let me tell you about Joe McPhee. Joe McPhee's a writer like me. And when you're in independent comics, particularly creator-owned stuff, you don't always just, it's not like you could just, uh, you know, take a hat, pull a bunch of names out and say, hey, I'm going to have Jim Lee illustrate my book or I'm going to have, you know, uh, Mark Bagley do this. You know, whatever the case is, um, you either got to have, you either got to finance it yourself or you got to be really well connected. Either way, if you want to hire a good artist, you got to have the money. That's just straight up what it is. Or do it yourself. Joe McPhee decided to do it himself. And he's kind of like put himself out there in such a way that um, I don't think any other comics creator is capable of doing what he's done because I know I can't to say, I'm going to, I'm, I don't know how to draw comics, but I'm going to learn how to draw comics. I'm going to teach myself how to do this because I want this done a specific way. And he's been working away at it consistently for the last 10 years. And he had, he had instances where he was ready to give up on his book. But um, other creators encouraged him to keep going, and um, he now managed to get six issues of his book out there, and he's got a, a seventh issue out on the way. And here's what's wonderful about this. Joe cares about the collector in all of us, and he also cares about all of his fans. With each of his books, you get a certificate of authenticity for each and every single issue, which you can take to any grading company. And um, I just think it's cool because – you never ever see a writer pull his pants up and say, I'm going to write, I'm going to just draw and write the damn thing. It doesn't matter if I can draw or not. I'm going to teach myself how to do it. If I have to, I'll go back and redraw issue one, which is actually what Joe did. This is actually the first issue redone completely from scratch because 
that was the advice that was given to him. And that is a huge inspiration to me as a creator, because it's like, that's what, that's how far he took this. And let's go into the writing. You know, the story keeps unraveling. And Joe did such a great job of pitching this the other day on Virtual Signings of Honor, which is on YouTube. Um, and he, he, he mentioned that his editor, who is very non-emotional and everything, read his fifth issue script and actually cried. Actually cried. I think that's amazing. That tells you something. And I see Joe. He's always learning. He's also one of my biggest patrons, too. So I see what he buys. I see what he reads. And, you know, I, I, there's, I, this is somebody I want his, I, I, it's not that I want his books. I will sell out of his books on my show. I will do whatever it takes because I believe in this creator here. And here's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to do all six issues of Amazonia. I'm going to do them all for 20 bucks. They're all signed. All come with a certificate of authenticity. Plus, you get a spin on the wheel. You would have gotten a $5 gift card just now, which you could apply at any point. So just letting you guys know we got Amazonia here. Of course, there's, of course you hear your name. Okay, so uh, E-Man, I got you on Yisun Shin. And we got Trish in the house. I'm going to leave Amazonia here. I'm just going to let you guys know. I'm going to be pitching this book, and Kevin's going to be pitching this book fairly consistently from now on. This is one of those books that we're going to take up side by side, shoulder to shoulder with Easton Shin. So whenever Kevin busts out Easton Shin, I'm going to follow it up with Amazonia. If I bust out Easton Shin, Kevin's going to follow up with Amazonia. We are making this book a success on our show. It's going to sell out, and we're going to order more. We're always going to have Amazonia in stock. That is our promise to you guys. So call it as you see it. We got you covered. Um, E-Man, I got you on Easton Shin number one through nine. Let me get my magical... Uh, marker so I can sign it for you real quick. And I didn't tell you guys about the new prize. The new prize is awesome. You get an unlimited supply of something really valuable uh, to someone in a third world country. So, um, you know, make sure you, uh, you pick it up. Uh, E-Man actually gets a spin right now. So let me spin for him. And I hope everyone's watching, including Kevin and including Joe, because this is the prize to outdo all the other prizes we've done on our show. And E-Man, I got all your books here. And you know what's really fantastic is you're picking up books from us from YouTube. That's really just incredible. Thank you so much. We've never seen that happen before. And that's, that's great. So you got all your books signed now by me. You are set up with your Yusin Shin. This is issue one, signed. Number two. Number three is signed over here. Number four is signed over there. Number five. Six. It's a little hard to see. It might be hard to see all of them. Seven, eight, and nine. I just know where I sign them. I do this so often. It's like <laughs> I just have a system in place. I find the biggest place, and then I, uh, and then I sign it. Okay, we sold Amazonia. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Amazonia Salt. Boom shakalaka. I love it. Outstanding. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And we got issue seven coming out in the fall. And I have a feeling Joe and I might actually... Uh, we need to talk about this, my friend. We need to talk about getting uh, something together with Houston Chin and Amazonia because we're probably going to do our Kickstarters at around the same time. So let's see what uh, let's see what happens. All right, I got you on Amazonia. All six for twenty. And anybody else who's interested in Amazonia, we got plenty of it in stock. So let us know. And if we run out, we just give Joe a phone call. You say, Joe, hook us up with some more books and we'll take care of it. Let's get you a spin on that wheel. You got free shipping on your order. Free shipping. Welcome to kick in it. So, E Man, we got you covered. Free shipping. Bang, 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 bang. Make a note of that real quick.
Joe, do you like that dance I did just now? Is that not the most epic thing ever? <laughs> All right. Scarlet Spider, number 11. Number. No, sorry, that was 13. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16. And number 17. I'm going to do this whole set here for just 10 bucks now. I was doing them for three bucks, pop 15, dropping five bucks off. $10. All it is, you see it. Captain America, number 618 and 619, is going to go for six bucks for the pair. Yes. Uh, so where's the email? What The email is in the – do you see this ticker at the bottom here? So it, it'll have our email here in just a second. There it is. See it scrolling? HKCollectibles123 at gmail.com. That is it right there. Just shoot me an email with your information so that I can uh, – in, in the email, um, just mention what you, had or, what, what you remember ordering and um, – uh, just give me your email, and then I'm going to send you an invoice through PayPal uh, later this week. And then basically you'll just pay it, and we'll just figure everything out. But all I need is your email address. I can take care of the rest. <laughs> no punchy Steve. <laughs> all right. I got some Wonder Woman here. I got the incredible I Ching. And if I say anything inappropriate here, forgive me. But here's what I'm going to do on this uh, set right here. I have both these books here. The New Wonder Woman, number 180 and number 182. I'm going to do these for uh, $25 together. 25 bucks is a set. Call it as you see it. Some classic Wonder Woman. And we got Vampirous Carmilla. Ooh, look at that. We got issues number two and three, and each one is going to go for just 10 bucks a pop. 10 bucks a pop. We're looking at $20 for the set. Call it as you see it. This is some really beautiful Frank Frazetta covers here, and we got some really nice black and white artwork, adventures, monster stories. This is the good stuff right here, folks. Call it as you see it. I really want to do a magazine like that one day. That's my dream as a comics creator. I, I really want to do like a martial arts magazine, like Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, and just bring a bunch of creators together who like did something like that and try and like have some fun with it. Masters of Kung Fu number 64 and 65 is going to go for $10. $10. Call it as you see it. All right. 182, 180 and 182 is going to Mr. McPhee. Got you, brother. Outstanding. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, you get a spin on the wheel. You get a chance to win something from a third world country that no one ever wants. Let me know when I got a spin for you, bro. All right. All right, let's keep moving here. Mr. Terrific. Mr. Terrific Volume 1 from DC. This is going to go for just uh, 10 bucks today. 10 bucks on Mr. Terrific. You're going to save $7 off that cover price. Or should I say, to be more specific, $6.99. Saga! Saga, 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 Saga! Saga Yucky! Saga Waga! We got Saga number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, and number 15. You guys really want to get this, this deal here. It's, it's, uh, it's a solid set. I'm going to do all seven comics for 20 bucks. Actually, I'll do them all for 15. Call it as you see it. Get some Saga books for 15 bucks. Power Rangers number 27 is going to go for $5, $5. Call it as you see it. And we got this Venom stackage here. This We're going to do all, all of these books at 5 bucks a pop. But if you get all nine right now, I'm going to do them all for just $35. Boom. 
Boom. Call it as you see it. Get some venom in your life. Y'all need that venom in your life. All right. All right, I'm spinning it for Joe. What happened here? Save 5% on order. You save 5%, bro. That's awesome. There we go. Everything's turning up Joe McPhee today. That's awesome. All right. You wanted some independent comics? I'm going to hook you up with some independent comics. Check it out. I got White Ash number one from Scout Comics. This is going to go for just five bucks right now. So $5 on White Ash number one. Scout is doing incredible stuff right now. Uh, James Hake and his crew have basically built out a company that is just on a trajectory upwards. Um, they got a lot of really big names involved, not just in comics, but in film. And they're becoming a really great bridgeway to get um, their properties turned into film. Uh, you got some very powerful people involved with this company, and I have a lot of faith that they're going to do some good stuff with it. So White Ash number one is going to go for five bucks. Call it as you see it. No problem. You know what? E-Man, drop a link. We will, you know, let's stay in touch, man. We, we will more than happily um, promote your, your, uh, your podcast and do whatever we can. This, this, this industry – only works when we all come together and we work together and build each other up. When we're just focused on what we're doing and only our own stuff, um, it's 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 very limiting. And um, when we come together and we work together, great things can happen. So let me know. I'll be more than happy to plug your 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 podcast anytime. It's all comics related, so you're going to be hitting a great audience here. And uh, welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much for shopping with us today. All right, next up, I got something really cool. Check out the eyes on this beauty. I particularly like this area over here. I am not so much paying attention to this area over here, but I do like this area at the bottom here. Notice how the barcode doesn't block off that badunkadunk. We got She Venom number one. We got Craven exposing himself over Spider-Man's dead carcass and mooning Captain America at the same time. Daredevil doesn't know where the heck he's going because his trajectory, according to the perspective, is to run to the left of Craven. But what if Craven had really killed Spider-Man? Find out! As the Human Torch spins over and sets Craven on fire. Craven and his balls on fire. Goodness gracious. All right, and then we got uh, Avengers Assemble. Some guy with a thing and another guy and a thing. And anyway, we're going to do this. I'm going to do all three of these for six bucks right now. All three for six. Get these true believers. Check out the teeth on that one, folks. Yummy. Look at that smile. I mean, seriously, though, Craven is totally, you know, like he's teabagging Spider-Man right here, guys. This is pretty bad. Um have you ever, Spider-Man, have you ever seen me do squats? One, two, one. <laughs> Call it as you see it, six bucks, you get she venom. All right, I got Spawn Dark Age. This, these look really cool. I got Spawn Dark Age number seven and number nine. I'm going to do each of these for three bucks a pop. We're looking at six dollars for the set. I'm on the hunt for spawn right now. A lot of you guys want spawn, and I want to stock it at all times. I want to have a whole set here. Um, all right, Chris, we'll see you later, brother. <laughs> Joe knows what's up, man. All right, next up, I am going to bring out a, a key book, and I have so many. Thoughts, so, such wonderful thoughts about how this show ended uh, this week. But I have all new Captain America number one. This is the first um, time that Sam Wilson gets his own cover as Captain America. And 
the way this was handled was just absolutely riveting. That whole episode was great. I love everything that they did. And I love the speech at the end. It was very unifying. And that's what Captain America is. He's a, he's a symbol for um, bipartisanship, which is something that I think our country is uh, sorely lacking right now. And it's really great to see that they've found a way to use this character to bring us all together. And it works. And it's fantastic. I absolutely loved, loved, loved Falcon and Winter Soldier. I cannot wait to see what they do with the next Captain America movie. Um, that is a character that is always firing on all cylinders. I, I love it. And the U.S. agent stuff that they did at the end, it was rocking. I absolutely loved it. Such a good show. Such a great end. Loved it. I'm going to do that book right there for $35. I know I know it's a little bit of an ask, but, uh, you know, I, I, I absolutely loved it. All righty then. Let's get back to it. And what is it? Here's another book here. I have Punchline and the Vaude Villains, number one. This is from Ted Sikora. Ted Sikora is um, a uh, – basically, he's my con brother. And he also puts out his own creator-owned series. Um, you may have heard of Tap Dance Killer from Hero Tomorrow Comics. But Ted is basically building out his own uh, universe. And um, it's set in Cleveland, which is just outside of where he lives. Um, he lives in Akron. And um, who wants to live in Akron? All right. But anyway, his whole universe is set there. I'm just playing around. Um, and uh, basically, um, Punchline is uh, a, a character that he created. And the Vaude villains include this character named Nikki St. Clair, who is the tap dance killer. And this issue right here, it just did so well. Ted is, um, he is legendary for his efforts. I mean, honestly, his first issue of uh, his latest book sold 5,000 copies at the distributor level. That is insane for a creator-owned book. That just does not happen ever. You're lucky if you hit like 1,500 copies of your book. Hitting 5,000 means you got something real. So this is what's up. This book signed by Ted. We got the first issue. This is my last copy in stock. And I'm doing this for just uh, $7 today. So $7 on punchline number one. And this is the collector's edition. So seven bucks for the collector's edition. That is a steal for that. I agree with you, E-Man. I, I, I agree. Captain America represents everybody. He is a character for everybody, you know, and um, I'm, I'm just glad I, to see that every, it, there, it was a very unifying episode. And I, I just, I, I loved it. It, it, it. it pulled at my heartstrings. I almost, I almost shed a tear. So did Kevin. We, we really did. Um, you know, I think this is uh, our country needs uh, some real healing right now. And it's very rare that we get to see these heroes actually use their voices to really like, say something important that everybody needs to hear. Um, you know, Superman used to do that, but then he became all dark. And now he's just like, Martha, I have a, I mean, I'm Superman. I have a mother named Martha. And coincidentally, so does Bruce Wayne. <laughs> you know who else has a mother named Martha? Not Darth Vader. Here's the annual number two. This is going to go for just $5. Boom shakalaka. Call it as you see it. Oh, totally. Absolutely. So Darth Vader annual number two is going to go for just five bucks. All right. Next up, I got some more Wonder Woman for you guys. I have Wonder Woman number 34 and number 38 from George Perez's run. I'm going to do both of these for $12. So together, it's going to be 12 bucks. Actually, no. If you buy them individually, they're 6 bucks a pop. If you buy them together, I'll do them for 10 right now. You can get both these Wonder Woman for 10 bucks. Call it as you see it. I got you covered. All One crazy movie doesn't change a character forever. That's true. I agree, Mike. 
And I know you're talking about Superman and Batman. But you know what? Here's the thing. I don't hate Henry Cavill as Superman. I think he did a good job as Superman. I think that they've done just fine with the casting for the DC um, EU, but the problem with the DC EU is it's just too dark and too sophisticated. It tries to be too sophisticated. What I really like about what the Marvel TV shows have done is that they're talking directly to us. And um, some of the, uh, you know, other uh, TV shows that do that are like the boys, which just literally gank you by the throat and say, Hey, I'm talking to you. Um, you know, that's one of those type of shows. And, um, you know, I have faith in the DCEU. I hope that they'll they'll figure it out eventually. I mean, they got a long way to go before they, uh, you know, get there. But uh, it's a, it's eventually they're going to have to strike gold with something. So let's hope. And you know what? I'm really disappointed that they canceled that New Gods movie with Tom King. I'm really, really upset about that because um, that would have been such a big win for comic creators in general to see um, a, a primetime comics creator make the jump to, to writing a movie and that movie getting made and that movie turning into something incredible. Because Tom King does some really great comics, guys. I stocked up on a bunch of stuff from him yesterday. I'm trying to build out his Rorschach set and Strange Adventures, and I'm going to flip those MFers like you can't imagine. I'm going to flip them like some gefilte fish on the fryer. All right. Next up, I got Terminator Secondary Objectives. I have issues one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do the whole set here for just 10 bucks. 10 bucks on Terminator Secondary Objectives. $10 redos. What's up, Russell? Good to see you, man. I hope you had a great weekend. All right, next up, I got some more spawn here. I have spawn number 311 and number 312. I'm going to do both of these for 10 bucks right now. So spawn 311 and 312 is 10 bucks. Next up, I got uh, West Coast Avengers number 50. This is going to go for just 10 bucks today. We got the return of the original Human Torch here. Call it as you see it. Yeah, I agree. The WB is way better than the DCU is for the most part. I, I would agree with that. Just like on a more of like a, a micro budget kind of a thing. I mean, it's – there was a time. Let's not forget. There was a time when DC dominated um, on the uh, – you know, adaptation front, like, you know, let's not forget Superman from 1977, you know, or was it 77 or 79 or 76? I forgot. But Superman, the movie, you know, Christopher Reeve, uh, Michael Keaton's ba uh, in Batman, you know, that no one even cared or knew about the Marvel characters back then. The best we got out of Marvel back then was that horrible, fantastic foreign Captain America movie and Dolph Lundgren is the Punisher, which Honestly, I think Dolph Lundgren could have pulled, been a great Punisher with the right direction, but Marvel, the times weren't there to keep up with Marvel, and Marvel just kind of switched in there. And yes, I am a Marvelite. I, I will admit that I'm, I'm I'm a bit biased on that front, and that's my fault. But um, you know, I I still have great faith in DC. I think that the the next Batman movie is going to be rocking, so I'm looking forward to that. I think we're going to have a good time with that movie. All right, let's keep rocking it and rolling here. I have Captain America going to war against drugs, but uh, didn't Captain America take drugs in order to become Captain America? Not Falcon, but Steve Rogers did. Steve Rogers is a drug addict, folks. Um, and this is how he gets kids to deal with it. He gets them high on his own uh, fruit punch or Kool-Aid, as the kids call it, and throws his shield at drugs. And how does it get there? Who knows and who cares? Find out for only $5. $5. Captain America goes to war against drugs. I'm going to war against drugs. Drugs are bad, okay? I got Venom, number 151. Number 152. And number 153, 
I'm going to do the whole set here for just nine bucks. You're saving a dollar off the cover price of each book. Call it as you see. Japanese Spider Man's awesome. I love Japanese Spider Man. You know what? I have to say, um, something I do that I probably, you know, shouldn't is I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima, and I absolutely love that game. And every time I'm playing the game and I like fight like the Mongolians, I'm like thinking to myself of that South Park episode with uh, the Chinese the, the Chinese guy from Shitty Walk. City Walk? City Walk. <laughs> and I'll be like fighting the Japanese or sorry, the Mongols, and if I get killed by the Mongols, I'm like stupid Mongolian. And here's the thing, I can say stupid Mongolian because um my wife's from Kazakhstan, so it's okay for me to make jokes at um Central Asia's expense. I can also make fun of Russians, Jews, and Irish people. They're all within my spectrum of making fun of on that level. And the next person who uh Picks up anything for $20, gets a free DC comic. Let's see who's going to win the special prize. That was saved $10, but you were really close. You are really close. You would have gotten that special, that special uh, gag right here. I mean, gift right here. Automatic. Hey. All right, let's keep going here. We got Phil Bergusa. Edwards Colin Venom. Awesome. Do I have Thor 80, 384? Very possible I have Thor 384. Edwin, good to see you, my brother. Edwin, I got you. All right. I have the Superman Batman number one annual. This is going to go for just $3 today, 3 bucks. Okay, all right. You get you want another spin, you get another spin, dude. You did spend 40 bucks. Let's do it. You got a free Marvel comic. I will pick it out for you in a little bit. If you tune in tonight, I will be on at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern. And I will have um, your book picked up for you. And you can catch us on YouTube like you've been watching so far. So very cool. All right. I have Captain America 616 here. 616. This is going to go for uh, $5 today. $5 today on Captain America number 616. This is a cool, iconic cover. Steve Rogers, old school, 616. Call it as you see it. And next up, I pulled a What If bundle here. I have What If the Beast Continued to Mutate. This is number 37. I have What If Conan Were Stranded in the 20th Century. I have What If the Punisher Hadn't Been Killed. I have What If Wolverine Had Married Mariko. And What If Daredevil versus Elektra. I don't know what the cliffhanger here is or what the tagline is, but... It's not there. Anyway, there's uh, five books here. I'm going to do each of these for $1.50. So we're looking at three, six, $7.50. I'll just make it seven bucks even. You get all these what if comics. And I'm cleared out of what if after that. So call it as you see it. That's another series I need to jump on. We got a, uh, we got a what if TV show coming out soon. It's a cartoon. So... Um, or it's an animated, not cartoon, but it's animated. But we got a what if coming out soon, which is really cool. They've modeled um, the actors and everything from the actual movies. So this is the what if series. It looks pretty cool. It's really dope. All right. Keep moving here. Next up, I got Lady Death, number one. This is going to go for $10. I'm going to check and see which one it is because this is a virgin. Cover okay. It's Lady Death, the Odyssey number. Actually, this isn't Lady Death number one. This is Lady Death, uh, the Odyssey number two of four. And this is going to go for just eight bucks today. I'll do this for eight. Sorry, I miss. I, I miss. I didn't give you the right information originally. Eight bucks. Call it as you see it.
Next up, I got Batman 50. This is the issue where Batman marries Catwoman. And he's like, hey, Catwoman, what's going on? How you doing? shabba lemma ding dong Give me this book for just five bucks. Call it as you see it. I got you covered. Oh man, I remember the Batman when Batman went and became the samurai. That was a cool anime project type thing. It was cool. I dug that. I digs it. I digs it. All right. Next up, I got some one some more Wonder Woman for you guys. I am not shy on Wonder Woman today. I have Wonder Woman number 19. This is gonna go for three dollars. I have Wonder Woman number 28, $3, and Wonder Woman number 41 going for $3. Get all three Wonder Womans for just three, or sorry, $9, $9. 19, 28, and 41. You can buy those individually too. Just let me know what you need. Batman 50 is going to Edwin. I got you covered on that, sir. Thank you very much. Edwin, you are only $6 away from getting a spin, my brother. Call it as you see it. All right, here's what I got. I got some old school Batman right here, guys. I have Bronze Age Batman, number 333, 334, 335, 336, 337, and 338. I'm going to do all of these Batman comics. We got one, two, three, four, five, six Batman comics here. I'm going to do them all for 15 bucks right now. $15 for all these Bronze Age Batman comics. All it is, you see it. My man, I know you will. <laughs> All right. Here's another character that's just blowing up everywhere. I got She-Hulk number 34 here. Check out the smile on these ladies. Hey, bam. They're too skinny, though, compared to rest. I, I mean, I need, I need a little bit more beat on the bone, if you know what I mean. And that's what you get when you date a Russian girl, which, Edwin, you're only $6 away from finding out if you win a date with a free ball. I don't have any more balls, so I'm going to – I shouldn't have said that. But uh, I got balls. I'll show you my balls right here. But in the meantime, we got Shield number 34 going for only 5 bucks. Call it as you see it. You buy this book, and I'm like cleared out of She-Hulk. I got nothing. I ain't got nothing for you. Nothing for you. All right, here's another cool series. I got radically rearranged Ronin Ragdolls, which were a spoof of um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that were created when Kevin Eastman and Ben Bishop – um, and uh, another uh, writer whose name is slipping my mind right now, but he's just a really wonderful guy, um, came together to crowdfund the story of how Kevin Eastman uh, created the Ninja Turtles, but kind of through this character, so it's kind of fictionalized too. And they did this book called Drawing Blood, and volume one of it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I backed it on Kickstarter. Really great stuff. Radically Rearranged Ronin Ragdolls was one of the stretch goals. So um, after they did their Kickstarter, they actually went, they put the book through Diamond and it, they got the distribution, but they also did Radically Rearranged Ronin Ragdolls. And um, they raised over $100,000 on Kickstarter with their first campaign and then they absolutely just demolished with their second. These guys are hustlers. They work very, very hard. So we got issue number one here. I got two variants of it. I'm going to do each one for just 10 bucks today. So get either one. It's 10 bucks. Call it as you see it. These go for big bucks online. I'm just saying, like, this is going to totally, like, blow up. Simply because of the fact that you got, uh, you know, Kevin Eastman and, and, and all that stuff, you know. Uh, he's creating another kind of, like, spoof of, you know, Ninja Turtles. So you never know where these things can go. 
And uh, Eastman's a solid cat. He's, he's a really – he really inspired me when I first started in comics. Like, I met him at Long Beach Comic Con, and um, I sold books to somebody that he, was there with him, either his friend or somebody that was close to them. And so his friend bought the comics, and that forced Kevin to stop in front of my booth. And I started talking to him about, you know, uh, his success and everything. And, you know, he, he always says that, uh, you know, everything that happened with Ninja Turtles was just like, you know, uh, a bunch of things going right at the same time. And, um, you know, if you guys ever watched The Toys That Made Us, that episode is really fantastic. And, uh, you know, Kevin really loves comics and he really loves making comics and he's just out there doing it. And nothing stops him and the same thing with peter laird if you guys are reading last ronin right now it is just such great stuff and um yeah radically rearranged running rag dolls each each variant there is going for 10 bucks uh no i don't have the marvel comics anime dvd i am sorry i don't but i do have some i do have a lot of stuff that i'll be busting up tonight i got a lot of blu-rays coming out um so be here for the evening show which is going to happen uh, this evening at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern. Next up, I got Thanos Rising and Thanos Legacy. So I got Thanos Legacy number one and Th Thanos Rising number two. I'm going to do the pair here for just uh, eight bucks today. Eight bucks. So this one is going to go at cover price. And this one is going to go for a dollar off. So normally you pay nine dollars for both of these. I'll do them both at eight right now. Just because it's Thanos. All right. Let's keep moving here. That's more spawn for you guys. Um, I got the one in ten uh, variants of issues 315 and 316. I will do the set together. For 15 bucks right now so the deal is is that in, in order to get these books you as a dealer need to order 10 copies of each book for your store and then they give you this limited edition variant which goes for a bit more money now what's cool about this is uh, both of these covers are actually illustrated by mr. Greg Capolo who was a uh, super definitive artist on spawn after Todd McFarlane um, this, like passed the rain on to him uh, the book's value, like, went in a very different direction, but still kept with what made Spawn so great. So you got some variant covers from him, and uh, Spawn 315 and 316 is going for just 15 bucks. I'm going to get the 1 in 10 variants. Call it as you see it. And let's see. I got The Brave and the Bold, Batman and Wonder Woman. I got number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. I will do all of these books here for just $15 right now. So 15 on the set. It's a six-issue miniseries, so you're just missing issue six, and you're saving a dollar off the cover price of each book. Uh, next up, I got Infinity Incorporated, number 50 and 51. We got Roy Thomas on this, which is fantastic. And um, Argon, Argon Denzi, who I don't know who that is. But uh, I'm going to – either way, I'm going to do both of these for 10 bucks. These two is a pair for $10. We got a full house right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching the show. It means so much to me. Oh, speaking of which, I actually have more of that Thanos. Um, and I don't know how that worked out. But somehow it got mixed up in here. So I actually have Thanos number three as well. So you could do Thanos Legacy one and then Thanos Rising two and three. I will do two and three for six. And rising for five. So we'll do the whole set for 11. I'll just do them all for 10. Call it all, it's 10 bucks. I have Superman in Action Comics number 812. 
813, 814, 815, 816, and 817. I am going to do all of these books here. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six books for $1.50 a pop. So each one is going to go for $1.50. We're looking at $9 for all these Superman comics. Call it as you see it. It's a great set right there. Any older black cat? Um, possibly. I might. I know that I have. Hang on a second, Edwin. I got you. Hang on. I think I got something for you. Unless it's right here. Hang on just a second. Hang on. Nope, not there. Let's see if it's here. Hang on just a second. Just a second, everybody. Wake up, everybody. No black. The only black cat I have is um, is the newer black cat, and I have it right here. Hang on, just a second here. Yeah, I got a black cat here. I was just looking at it too. Sorry, Evan. Hold on. So I got. I actually have three of these. If anybody's interested, I got. This black cat here, number one, this is going to go for $10 today. And I have three of them. They're all in near mint condition, bagged and boarded, ready to go. Black cat, number one. If you're interested, let me know, and I can pull it for you. All right, I'm going to undress the rack in the meantime. Spawn 315 and 316. Greg Capolo variants, one to 10 variants. This is going to go for 15 for the set. I have Wonder Woman from DC Rebirth, number 19, number 28, and number 41. These are just going to go for cover price, $3 a pop, $9 total. I have some Bronze Age Batman here. I have issues 333, 334, 335, 336, 337, and 338. Normally you buy all these books here. I would charge five dollars a pop for each of these. That would make the whole set one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty dollars. I'm gonna do them all for 15 right now. I'm all for 15. I have the Brave and the Bold. Number one, Batman and Wonder Woman. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. I'm going to do the whole set here for just $15. You're saving a dollar off the cover price of each book. Call it as you see it. Radically rearranged Ronin rag dolls. We have number one here, two different variants. We got this variant and we got this variant. Each one is going to go for 10 bucks. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Let me know what issues you're looking for specifically, and I can I can pull them for you, dude. I'll see what I can find. I mean, I, I still have to go through my lot, and we actually uh, just made a big uh, sale this week. of uh, We sold off 10 long boxes. So um, once, we, uh, once that deal clears, we're going to be on the hunt for more stuff, and uh, we'll definitely pick up some uh, – black cat for you. All right. I have She-Hulk number 34. That's going to go for $5, $5 on that. 
I have Lady Death, uh, the Odyssey number 204. That's going to go for, I'll just do this for five bucks. Five bucks. Call it as you see. Captain America number 616. This is going to go for five dollars. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Of course, E Man. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good meeting you. So, uh, Captain America number 616 is going to go for five dollars. Thanos Legacy number one is going at cover price five dollars, and two is going to go for three, and three is going to go for three. So, we're looking at eleven dollars um, if you buy them individually, ten bucks if you buy them as a set. All right, I'm going to knock the price down on these Superman books. I got Action Comics 812, Mike Turner cover, 813, 814, 815, 816, and 817. I'm going to do these for 50 cents on the dollar now. So I'm not just taking a dollar. I'm taking a full dollar off, okay? So we're looking at one, two, three bucks. These Superman comics are yours. Call that. <laughs> that is a heck of a deal. 50 cent comics. I got Infinity Incorporated number 50 and 51. I'm going to do the set here for $8. Actually, I'll do them for six now. So that's six down from eight. Captain America says no to drugs. This is going to go for $3 now, down from five. This what if bundle here, I'm going to do for a dollar a pop now. So you can get some what if comics for a dollar. For just one dollar. One, two, three, four, five. Five bucks to get all these one-in comments. Call it easy. See. Superman Batman annual number one is gonna go for just two dollars now. Two bucks on this. I got West Coast Avengers number 50. That's gonna go for 10. 10 bucks. All new Captain America number one. This is gonna go for $35. Call it as you see it. Key book right there. Spawn the Dark Ages. We got number seven and number nine. I'm going to do the pair here for just uh, six dollars. Six dollars on this pair. I have Wonder Woman number 34. And 35 from the George Perez run. I'm going to do the set here for just 10 bucks. 10 bucks for the set. I have True Believers. I have She Venom number one. I have What If Craven the Hunter Had Killed Spider Man. And I have Avengers Assemble, Ant Man and Hawkeye. I'm going to do all three of these for just six bucks right now. Call it as you see it. Terminator Secondary Objectives. I will do issues one, two, three, and four. I'm going to just do them all for eight bucks. Just make them $2 comics. Eight bucks for that set. And it's a whole run right there, folks. Spawn number 311 and 312. The pair is going to go for $10. 10 bucks. Call it as you see it. White Ash number one is going to go for $5. What if for, I think that was five on that. Oh, okay, did you want that what if uh, with the uh, Craven as well, Edwin? So I got you on six then. It's all these, right? One, two, three, four, five. And six. And I pulled that for you. Let me know if that's what you want to do. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Edwin gets a spin on that wheel. Let's see what he gets. Let's see what he gets, folks. All right. There's something with the wheel. Hold on a second. What's going on here? Give me one sec. You get a free DC comic. Not bad, man. 
free DC comic for Mr. Edwin. Either way, you're a winner. Okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Let's get a free DC comic. All right, I got to finish undressing the rack here. We got the Dark uh, Vader Annual number two. That's going to go for just uh, five bucks today. And uh, Punchline in the Fog Villains number one is going to go for seven dollars. This is the collector's edition, and it is signed by Mr. Ted Sikora, the creator of the series. All right, let's redress that rack. We got another uh, 18 minutes on the clock. 18 minutes on the clock? 19 minutes on the clock. 19 minutes on the clock. All right, so I have Star Wars Darth Vader number 24 and number 25. Um, I will keep these at cover price. So we're looking at $9 for this set. $9. Call it as you see it. Darth Vader number 24 and 25. I have Spider-Man 2099 number one. This is going to go for uh, $10 today. $10. Call it as you see it. And let's see. I got two copies of Batman number 429. These are in really good shape. This is the final chapter of A Death in the Family. And I'm going to do each one. I assume this is the one where we find out that uh, Jason Todd has been beaten to death. Um, I'm going to do this for just, uh, these are in near mint condition. I would say I'm going to do these for $10 a pop. So $10 a pop for each of these. 10 and 10. We got two of them, so you guys don't got to fight over it. You can all be winners. Flash number 150. It's going to go for five bucks. Five dollars. Call it as you see it. You could be close to spinning that wheel. I need to spend twenty dollars in order to like spin the wheel too. I would have saved ten percent on the next purchase. Ooh, ten percent on that next purchase, which could be this Wizard Special Edition with Spider-Man, Spider-Man twenty ninety nine, and the Symbiote Spider-Man. This is a very hard book to find. We're gonna do this for thirty five dollars, thirty five bucks. The Batman is going to go to Mr. Mr. Mains. I got you, brother. That's awesome. Thanks, brother. It's been a while since we've seen you. I think I shipped something out to you this uh, over on Friday. So you should have something for me in the mail. You are only $10 away from spinning that wheel. <laughs> All right. Do you have what if Captain America? No, I don't. Sorry, I, I don't have that. I'm cleared out. That uh, that what if sale from uh, Edwin. That's it. I'm I'm now done with uh, my what ifs. No more. So if I come across more in the future, I'll be on the hunt for them now. So that that's the series I'm on the hunt for. Spawn, Wonder Woman. Anytime I come across that stuff when I'm uh, diving at a comic shop or at a at a swap meet or going to a warehouse, you know, that's what I'm hunting for. All right, I got Indestructible Hulk, the variant edition. We got a blank white sketch cover here, and I have number 50 over here. And I'm going to do both of these for $10 a pop. So we're looking at $20 for the set. $20 bucks for the set. Get your favorite artist to draw something on there, like a big 
huge stinking venom on your cover. Elongated. All right, let's just keep going. Spider-Man doing the full splits. Which, sadly, I cannot do. I have War of the Supermen. Saw the Supermen beating the crap out of each other. Oh, wait! There's more! The Supergirl comes in, and she's going to be like, I'm going to ride you, and I'm going to ride into that uh, neck of yours with my knee. It's going to hurt really bad, because I'm from Krypton. And now we got a whole bunch of guys flying in at Superman all at once. And we have number four. So we got the whole thing here. The whole run is, is right here, War of the Superman. This is done by Sterling Gates, James Robinson, Eduardo Pensica, and Wayne Falker. I want to show you guys some of the art in here. Because why not? Why not? That's what it's all about. This looks like a really cool art. And let me tell you guys, just the way these books feel already, hang on, tape here. Someone tape this like a, like a fish naked, fish naked. I don't know who taped this, but it wasn't me. So I will report and bag them for you. Let's take a look at this. The artwork in here is pretty sensational. This is really great stuff. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty awesome spread here. Okay, so we got all four parts of this, in the entire story. So you got a whole run here. I'm going to just do this for 10 bucks right now. Call it as you see it, War of the Superman. One through four, get the whole run, 10 bucks. All right, let's see here. What else did I have? I got Sin City, the big fat kill, number one through six. So it's, or sorry, one through five. I'm sorry. It's the single issues, and they're all in really, really good shape. This is all, like, just really well put together. And um, I'm going to do the whole set right now. I normally sell this for uh, anywhere between $20 and $25. I'm going to do the whole set right now for just 15 bucks. I want to unload this. I want to get you guys a deal. So if you're watching right now, this is a deal – I don't offer often. 15 bucks, this is yours. Call it as you see it. I got you covered. If you're tuning in towards the end of the show, that's when I'm going to be busting out my sickest deals. And guys, I need to ask you a favor. If you're watching the show right now, do me a favor. Hit that share button. We're in the last 10 minutes of the show. And I'm going to be showing off some really, really sick stuff right now in about a minute here. So all you got to do, if you're watching right now, just share the link on whatever platform you're using and you know just you can share this video from where it is and let's get some let's get our viewership up let's make this fun let's get some more let's get some more peeps in the house here one thing i love about today is that this is probably one of the those unique situations where we managed to get a new customer through a new channel that we have never seen sales from so that's pretty cool and i just want to thank you guys all our regulars for watching today because uh, you guys are great. We will be back on later this evening at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern with my man, with the plan, Kevin Hines. We're going to have yet another win on this thing. We're going to add another award. Today, we're going to be bringing in Katusha. Katusha. She's a, you know, you got the, the, the dating a Russian woman has become so popular that um, we have decided to come up with new ones. And so, um, well, we didn't come up with them. They came to us. They're like sending us uh, applications and it seems like we've, we've started a new industry here. So this is pretty wild. Good time to be in business, let me tell you guys. All right, Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. I have number 82 and number 170. I'm gonna do the set here for just four bucks right now. Get the pair for four.
I got Ultimates, number eight, number nine, and number ten. Who do we got on the cover of eight? We got Scarlet Witch, Ultimate Scarlet Witch. I'm going to do the set here for just six bucks right now, six dollars. That's two dollar comics. Call it as you see it. Six dollars. Those books are in mint condition. They are in really, really good shape. That is a huge determinant in price is the condition of the books. Is the condition of the books. And that's why we're going to bust out a really sick deal here. I have Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X, number 80, number 90, number 91, and number 92. I'm going to do this whole set here all four for a dollar 50 a pop we're looking at six bucks for the set six bucks get yourself some Marvel comics presents this is the good stuff folks all right next up I got a dollar run here a dollar run here so pay attention I got classic x-men number 34 number 35 number 36 number 37 and number 38 i'm doing all of these for a dollar a pop we're looking at five bucks for this set here five bucks for this set call it as you see it we are down to the last seven minutes seven minutes i still haven't even shown you guys everything i can keep going Okay, I have Grim Fairy Tales Wonderland number 40. This is going to go for just $5 today. $5 today. For Grim Fairy Tales Wonderland number 40 from Xenoscope. I have Falcon and Winter Soldier number 3. This is going to go for $5 today. Or no, sorry, $4. That's the cover price. It's going to go for cover price today. $4. Good looking book right there. I have X-Men number 283. Bishop's Crossing. This is going to go for $10 right now. $10. Oh, wait, $10? Sorry, $6. $6. $6. $6. And... I have Star Wars Bounty Hunters number three. This is going to go for just two dollars and fifty cents. I have some Venom books here for you guys. I have Venom 151, 154, and 161. I'm going to do the set here for just three dollars a pop, nine dollars total. You buy any of them individually, it's cover price. I have seen this book in a comic shop already selling for six bucks. I'm going to do it right now for a dollar off if you pick up that set for me. Power Rangers number 28. This is going to go for five, five bucks. Batman White Knight, number seven and number eight. This is going to go for $8. I'm going to keep these at cover price, eight bucks. Eight bucks on these beauties. I have the authority, more Kev right here. This is... Uh, all four parts, and I'm going to do all four parts for just 10 bucks today. 10 bucks, you get a full run of books. I have Grim Fairy Tales, volume 15. This is going to go for, uh, let's see, $15. $15. Call it as you see it. I right, spawn number three eleven. This is going to go for uh, ten dollars, and I have Amazing Spider-Man Hit and Run number three. That's going to go for six today. Six dollars. Call it as you see it. 
much. And let's see how much we got left. We got five minutes left on that clock, folks. Five minutes left. And I'm going to show off some really cool stuff here in just a second. I have Penny for Your Soul, the Showgirls Tribute. This is a naughty, naughty book, and it's going to go for just $20. Call it as you see it. Badunk a dunk. A badunk a dunk. Call it as you see it. All right, we got a full rack here. And it is just beautiful. I love it. It's got a little bit of everything on it. That's what I'm all about. Variety. That's right. That's what it's all about. Variety. I love that thing. I'm going to use it every day. <laughs> I'm going to smack it. I'm going to pet it. I'm going to do all kinds of stuff to it. I got the Mighty Crusaders, number one and two. Number one and two are going to go for, this is a six-issue series. Each one's going for $4 normally. I'll do them both right now for five. And let's see. I have the Outsiders. I have Outsiders number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. I'm going to do all five right now for seven bucks. The whole set for seven. Outsiders for seven. See where we are. We got three minutes left on that clock, folks. Three minutes left. Next person who calls gets a spin on the wheel. Call anything, you get a spin on the wheel. I'm going to bust out some Harley Quinn here. I got Harley Quinn number 18, number 19, number 22, number 24, and number 25. If you pick up this set for me right now, I'm going to knock 50% off the cover price of all of these books. We're looking at ten dollars for the set. Ten bucks for the set. Call it as you see it. Call any item right now, and you get a free spin on the wheel. Star Trek: The Next Generation, number twenty. This is going to go for two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Call it as you see it. Okay. I have Justice League number 26, 27, and 28. I'm going to do these for three dollars a pop. We're looking at nine dollars for the set. Nine dollars. Call it as you see it. I want, I got JLA number 35, number 65, and number 77. I'm going to do this whole set here for just six bucks. Six dollars. Call it as you see it. And looks like we're down to that last minute here, folks. So um, that is it. I am done showing stuff now. We're going to be off the air in less than a minute here. Just want to let you guys know we will be back on later this evening at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have another show tonight where we bring out video games, where I'm going to bring out some movies, and we're going to be doing some really great stuff tonight. Kevin's got new comics, new video games, all kinds of new stuff. So come kick it with us tonight. We will see you guys in the evening, 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Um, we are here for you guys around the clock. We appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for shopping with us this afternoon. It was great seeing you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you tonight.